Sean, Timmy, there's been rumours around the neighbouring farms of a fly called Lucy causing havoc. I need you to know all about her to keep the flock safe. Who's Lucy? Scientifically named Lucilia caprina and commonly known as the Australian sheep blowfly, Lucy causes a disease called fly strike or meiasis and her host range is limited to sheep. She is a primary strike fly which means she causes disease by laying her eggs on susceptible sheep. Her preferred niche within sheep are damp areas of fleece rot damage. Originating from South Africa, Lucy is now distributed all across Australia. That means wherever you guys are, Lucy will be there. But how does she survive? Lucy lays her eggs on a susceptible sheep. Once her eggs hatch, the larvae feed on skin fluids before molting twice. They then drop from the sheep to form pre-pupa in the soil, and under optimal conditions, the pupa develops and an immature Lucy emerges. Right, but how does she make us sick? Once you're infected, Lucy very often causes clinical disease. They cause traumatic cutaneous meiosis by using their mouth hooks to invade the skin and by secreting proteolytic enzymes to break down the epidermal and dermal layers. Toxins released by damaged tissue and ammonia excreted by the maggots cause systemic effects such as inflammation, pain, toxemia and anemia. Lucia initiates over 90% of fly strike in the Australian flock, which costs the sheep industry $280 million annually. Does she target anyone in particular? Lucy particularly targets merino sheep. Tail length is another risk factor, as faeces are more likely to accumulate on longer tails. Hence, young lambs with undocked tails may be at greater risk, so watch out, Timmy. For the same reason, sheep with wrinkly breech skin, urine staining, scouring, and persistently wet fleece are the most likely victims. How do we know if one of our friends has been struck? General clinical signs include depression, anorexia, a putrid smell, and isolation. We can definitively diagnose fly strike by identifying burrowing maggots into the skin during husbandry procedures such as shearing and crutching. The prognosis of fly strike is a 5% mortality rate, with most sheep recovering with proper treatment. Well, what, what treatment, treatment is there? Struck wool can be shorn off to allow infected skin to dry out. Clipped wool and maggots that have been picked off should be placed in a plastic bag and left to dry, killing the maggots and breaking the life cycle. Dressing with a registered chemical can also be applied to prevent re-strike. However, prevention is the best medicine. Musing is performed with the combination use of meloxicam and trisulfan to remove excess breech skin and form bare scar tissue that is less likely to attract Lucy due to the absence of wrinkles. However, this is a short-term prevention strategy with significant welfare implications. A more effective long-term management strategy is selective breeding for plain-bodied sheep without wrinkles or wool on their hindquarters. Careful timing of shearing and crutching before an anticipated flywave period can also provide sheep with protection when they are most vulnerable. Chemical preventative measures are another option, but are not considered best practice as it can increase development of chemical resistance. Recent silica nanocapsule formulations, however, are a novel approach to fly strike control. These nanocapsules, filled with currently available fly strike chemicals, have spiked surfaces that stick to wool, flies or fly larvae, allowing for extended control with smaller doses and minimal residues and off-target effects. Okay, Bitsa, now that we know all this, we'll do our best to keep the flock safe.